Hi friends, we will understand radio buttons. Now if you have seen our previous checkboxes tutorial, in that we have explained that uh, you user can select more than one option in case of a checkbox. Now in case of a radio button, user has to select one or all options are mutually exclusive. Once the option is selected, other option will be deselected. Now for that input type, input type equal to radio now name name of a group of a checkbox has to be same so we'll give color so input type radio name color value will give say red now let's give the label also add one line break so this will display one checkbox uh, one radio button now let's come to second one now name will be same so we'll not change the name red green Last time we have used blue, so let's use blue first. Blue and the third one, let's say green. And you see the name is same again. So I'm not using anything. It is better to use quotes because if you are using space in between or something, then that will help. So better practice is to use the quotes here. Be because I am not using space, it will not make any difference here, but it is a good practice to use. So fine, now we have got it, uh, input type red, okay fine. Now let us, I am saving this, let us see this. You can see I have three radio buttons here, I can select any one. Other one, when I go, it is because the radio button is mutually exclu exclusive, this option, one other option will be removed. In case of checkbox, it was not happening. I was allowed to go for more than one also and the names were different and here the name is common. That's the basic difference between a check set of checkbox and a radio button because I have created a group here. Now let's just go and see how we'll handle this because that now there is not three data we have received only one data in case of checkboxes we have created three now we'll go for one only and that well that is the color so whatever i select it here that will come so i saved it came here now let me just submit it you can see red uh, sorry it is red is green why it is red let me just Okay, this this I had to change it to color. Find what color it is. So okay, now I if I will select uh, blue and submit, color is blue. Fine, whatever my selection is, that only I will carry. Fine. Now let's come back to our. Uh, we'll understand about few attributes there. Now suppose I want by default when the page loads, that blue should be checked. So I can write checked here. Let's refresh this. So blue is checked. So once I submit it, it will go. I can make it disabled also. But what is the point checking and disable? Will the value will carry? No, it will not. Once it is disabled, it will not be available for the form to submit. You can see I can't change this value, but it is checked, but it is disabled also. Now if I'll submit, no data will be there because it is disabled. Now I can, at the same time, I can take some other data, not an not a issue. So red is carried. Now that is what the main important is uh, checked and disabled. This is how the our uh, radio buttons work. You can say we, if it is disabled if, by writing a logic outside the radio, you can say that if this condition is true, then only if checkbox is checked, then make it disabled. So those logics we can build by using JavaScript or jQuery and all. So these are the basic, this is the basic uh, uh, functioning of a radio button. We'll move further to other components.